here is to a few simple things that I have been following at home and find them super helpful that I would like to share. A bread loaf with two ends, the first and the last slice with a crust on often goes waste with not everyone willing to eat. So what I've started to do is to tear down the slice into a mixy jar and get the crumbs done and transfer it straight away into a freezer bag. Now I already have some bread crumbs of last time and I'm going to continue using the same and combine today's uh, bread crumbs into this which goes a long way to last and these bread crumbs are ready to use as and when needed rather than buying it from supermarkets and this can be used to coat patties wedges as a filling in a mushroom in which way you will not be wasting the slices and also it is readily available at home in the freezer now i am making instant ragi dosa mix at home which can be used instantly as and when you wish to make dosas at home for which in a steel container that I am going to save it up directly into this, I add in 1 cup of ragi flour, 1 cup of wheat flour, 1 cup of rice flour, a tablespoon of cumin seeds and I just use a whisk to combine all of the dry ingredients together. I combine it well and that's it. So easy to make and very very healthy too. I haven't added any preservatives nor artificial fragrance like the ones that you get from stores. Now I am keeping it ready to be used. Now in a squeezy bottle I am planning to make oil infused with spices. Being an Indian I love the aroma of spices especially in oil which adds in great flavor to all the Italian and Western delicacies especially on homemade pizzas. I add in two cloves, four peppercorns, one star anise, four cardamom pods, one bay leaf, an inch of cinnamon stick, a big long red chilli and one fourth teaspoon of fennel seeds. And with the help of the funnel, I transfer olive oil into the bottle of spices. I cover it up and keep it ready to be used when I wish to, allowing the spices to be infused in the oil. And it works even better over the time say around at least a week's time and these are the oils that I regularly use at home olive oil, sunflower oil, sesame oil, groundnut oil, homemade infused oil and coconut oil. Now I am reusing the grill of the instant disposable barbecue that I had bought during summer. I took out the top section which is the grill after using the barbecue and have tried it and I have tested it using it on the gas hob for char grilling vegetables and corn at home and it worked super good but very importantly to cover and seal the sides for which I am using this aluminium foil and folding it up thickly and covering the sides and the edges on all the four sides and four corners. So next time when you buy an instant barbecue, make sure to save up the grill that can be used at home on the hob to roast your corn on the cob or char grilling your vegetables. Due to excess heat and probably towards the end of summer, the lavender buds in a front garden are getting dried up. So I am pruning the lavender for today, in which way the plant will set growing back again beautifully. Now with these gorgeous smell of lavender, you can store them in a pouch close to your bed or in your wardrobe. Look at this little fellow here, I am going to leave him back to enjoy on his rock. I have given the lavender flowers a good wash and I am planning to use them for tea today. I set water to boil and I add in lavender. I let them steep for 10 minutes time. I don't drink coffee or tea at all but I just love enjoying these kinds of warm herbal drink made at home 
and this one is very special as it's made from my very own garden. An easy way on how I make garlic bread at home. I use the same loaf, it could be seeded or wholemeal. If you prefer white bread, you can use that too as well. In a baking tray, I line up the parchment paper. Crushing and placing it fits in more perfectly. I have the slices ready. Now, after using half of the bread loaf, either the sticker is not so sticky anymore. Now, the best way to keep the remaining of the bread airtight um, is to seal the sticker to the lower end and fold down the plastic wrap from the top to the bottom and keeping it covered this way helps the bread to be covered up completely. Now, I'm using sunflower spread. I scoop in around 2 tablespoons into a bowl. I add in salt. 1 8th teaspoon of green chilli paste, a tablespoon of minced garlic, a teaspoon of dried parsley and I combine it well. With the help of the back of the spoon, it combines even more perfectly. I spread it generously on the bread slices. Making garlic bread at home is easy and it tastes far better than store pot. And you can always tweak to adjust to your taste when made at home. I keep them in the oven for 8 minutes time, setting the temperature at 180 degrees in a preheated oven for 10 minutes time. Now I have 2 carrots that I have washed. I am going to peel the skin and I saute the skin on a pan with the infused spice oil. I use a fork to separate and keep them stirring. When they are almost done, that's when I add in sesame seeds to be toasted for the further minute. Now, this particular dish is when you are trying your best to incorporate healthy food. Carrot skin is slightly bitter in taste but has great health benefits. I am just roughly chopping the carrots into slices and steaming them for 10 minutes time. I am using the breadcrumbs to coat the carrots. I add in salt, half a teaspoon of red chilli flakes, half a teaspoon of oregano and mix the dry ingredients. You can add in any kind or any variety of cheese that you have at home. I combine it well. Now in a small bowl, I add in plain flour and very little of water to coat the steamed carrots. I dip them and transfer it into the breadcrumb mixture, allowing them to be coated as much as they can and I drizzle in infused spice oil. I have divided it into two portions in two separate ramekins to be grilled in the oven. Alternatively to carrots, you can also use potatoes, broccoli, cauliflower and peppers. They will all taste good. My favourites being peppers. I bake them for 12 minutes time in a preheated oven at 180 degrees. Now as they are getting baked, time to make a tasty drink, a chocolatey drink using chocolates. Now we have this box of celebration pack at home which has different flavours of chocolate. You can use your favourite flavour of chocolate. I love the taste of caramel so I am using galaxy caramel for today. This is one of the best way to treat your children with their favourite flavour of chocolate in milk. To 2 cups of milk I am adding 3 chocolates. I have used caramel which is really soft. Make sure to break it down before placing it in the jar flavoured chocolatey milk. Now with everything ready, time to indulge a peaceful lunch with kids back to school after summer holidays. Now I am using the dosa mix the next day by scooping in just around 4 tablespoons as it is just me and my husband for lunch. In the morning I add in salt and water and combine it well and I check on the consistency. If needed more water I add in so. 
Now this is the flowing consistency that I'm looking for. I keep the batter ready and I keep it aside for at least 4 hours time. And when it's time for lunch, I use a dosa pan. I smear some oil and when the pan is hot and ready, I pour in the batter with the help of the cup. Now, very importantly, combine well before using the batter while making each and every dosa as it does settle down. It's not just easy to make ragi dosas at home. Eating ragi dosa on a daily basis has great health benefits. It can control your sugar levels and is high in protein and is rich in fiber. I really hope you liked today's video and found it useful. Thanks for watching.